Hi, I'm going to introduce you how to um, create pivot table in the scenario manager. And the title is Add Even More Muscle to What If Analysis by James Basel. And uh, uh, this video is created by Chad Nelson and the King King Nam. Okay, so I'm Chad Larson. I'm going to show you how to do this now. Um, if you don't remember how to make scenarios, then go ahead and go back to part one of what if analysis so that you can see how to create these scenarios. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to data and then under what if analysis we'll go to scenario manager. As you can see we've put we have those original scenarios here from part one. Before, when we did it, we would go summary, and then we'd do a scenario summary, which would just show just a basic Excel sheet um, of the things that you wanted. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to do the summary again, but this time we're going to do a pivot table. So in order to do the pivot table, we need to say what things we want measured in the pivot table. So we'll look at the sales growth rate. What you need to do is hold down control and then just click each one of these. So we got sales growth rate, sales return rate, cost of sales growth rate, and then we also want to see a few other things that are affected by this. So we were thinking of using net sales, cost of sales, gross profit, total operating expenses, and net operating income. Um, we're, I guess we can use uh, income tax rate too if we want. Yeah. This is totally customizable. You can choose whatever you want. So I'll go ahead and hit enter and then you'll see it shows all the cells that we clicked on there and then you just click OK. And now you've got your pivot table here. Um, now you've already learned how to do pivot tables in the past. So we don't need to go over how to do that again. But I've noticed in 2010, for some reason, it doesn't give it in dollars. So you have to go here and put it back in dollars. OK, so now you have your pivot table. And then there's you can go through here and you can filter. So let's say you only want to show scenarios 1 and 2. Then it just show those. Now, for some reason, um, the field list that shows up over here normally hasn't shown up. So I don't know why this happens. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So what you need to do is just right click on one of these cells and go to show field list. And that shows all the different fields that you selected beforehand. So it has your filters, your row labels, column labels, and values. And then just like any pivot table you can move things around however you want them as long as they make sense. And so just use that, and then you can customize your pivot table however you like. Mahalo, and thank you for watching.